Hi, my name is John. I'm a technician at Oxidation Technologies. And today I'd like to take a peek inside the Max Pro O2 oxygen concentrator that we now offer on our website. This is what the unit looks like on the, the front here. And the cover is very easy to remove. Uh, you can take the top either side off. Uh, very easy to get at parts. Uh, from a, as a technician, I really appreciate that feature. Uh, very easy to uh, fix these units if uh, you would have any problems. There's a lot of units out there that are so cramped and difficult to get in, it's almost impossible to, for uh, repairs. But the heart of this unit is the, or the air compressor. Uh, provides compressed air for the unit. There's lots of room around it for air movement to keep it cool. Compressors generate a lot of heat and vibration, so there's a good vibration dampening system on this unit. Underneath that box are two fans to draw air, the hot air, away from the compressor, blow it out of the bottom of the unit, keeping the unit cool. This hot compressed air uh, goes up this white uh, hose here into the coil of aluminum tube to cool it down. Uh, when you cool that air down, a lot of the moisture that's in the air will condense out of it. And uh, it's removed with this water separating unit. Very uh, unique feature. Uh, not very many concentrators have something like this, but it's very important for the longevity of the unit. Uh, removing as much moisture as possible. Uh, some of these units will work okay without this if you live in a dry environment, but there's many very humid environments where these units are used, and uh, a water separator like this is so important for a unit like this to last a long time. So the dry air will come out of this blue tube from the top and go to the sieve beds. This is at the heart of any oxygen concentrator inside these. Uh, there's really two sieve beds here filled with zeolite that filters the nitrogen out and uh, leaves you with 93% oxygen. Uh, they're rather sensitive to moisture. They can handle a little bit, but uh, when they get overwhelmed, it doesn't take long. And that whole sieve material becomes contaminated and uh, the unit no longer works. The oxygen then comes out of this white tube, runs through uh, a filter. Down here, it's, there's a little T. One of them goes to a pressure sensor, on the, and the other goes through the flow meter and also to an oxygen purity sensor. These are also two very useful uh, features of this unit. Now, if the oxygen purity gets too low or uh, your pressure drops uh, too low on the oxygen, uh, an alarm will sound. And I'll turn the unit on pretty soon and show you those features. Um, well, those are very important uh, so that you know you're getting the oxygen that you're expecting. Um, but it also serves to protect the unit from any further damage. Um, so I'm going to turn this unit on. You can hear what it sounds like. We'll turn it on. Um, for a while, so a green light will flash when it's when you're getting purity and the pressure that you need. It'll turn to steady green. turn it back on, the air compressor will not start right away because there's still pressure on the system. Uh, it takes a little while for that to uh, bleed off and then it will kick on. Right now it's just buzzing. 
As the air pressure is released, I tried to start there. Okay, so after running a little while, the green light is steady now. takes a while for that oxygen purity to recover. But overall, um, a very nice unit. Um, we have a Max Pro O2 5, which produces five liters a minute. Uh, the eight produces eight liters a minute, which is equivalent to about 17 CFM and uh, reaches an oxygen pressure of about 15 PSI. So if you as a customer would have any problems with it, uh, the cover is easy to remove. Uh, it can, many things can be diagnosed over the phone, uh, parts uh, replaced easily. Overall, a very solid unit. Mm -hmm.